there guys, it's Hobo525 here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my Marvel Legends Marvel Zombies Concept Wave. So, just before I get into this, these figures are only going to be based off the ones in the Marvel Zombies comics, not the What If episode. Just wanted to put that out there, and this video is going to have spoilers for Marvel Zombies 1, and possibly 2. So, just wanted to prepare you guys for all of that before I really get started into this. And with all that said, let's get into this. All right, so first up we have Zombie Iron Man, who I think looks pretty cool. He would come with the torso of Giant Man, who would be the builder figure of this wave. Zombie Giant Man, that is. And then he does have two separate heads because he pretty much had his helmet flipped up throughout the entire comic. He did have it on uh, some of the time, but most of the time he had the helmet off or flipped up, I'd say. And he would come with separate hands for little blaster effects because you can't, you can't really have a good Iron Man figure without separate hands of blaster effects. You know what I'm saying? E even if he's a zombie. So here's a better image of him. And I think he looks pretty cool. I would definitely get this guy. I did use the 80th anniversary mold for him because that's pretty much the suit he has. And I think it's a pretty damn good mold. So I think it fits him quite well. Then we have him with his helmet on. He does have the pointy helmet on. So next up we have... Colonel America, Zombie Colonel America, and yes, it is Colonel, not Captain, because in the comic he was called Colonel America, so I wanted to be accurate, and I think he looks pretty good. This might actually be one of my favorite figures out of the ones I made for this. So he does have two separate heads too, because in the first Marvel Zombies comic, his or part of his head kind of got torn off, revealing his brain. So that's what that green stuff is, and I don't know. When I made this, I wanted the Marvel Zombies not to just be like the regular figures of just slightly older zombie faces. I wanted, them a lot, I wanted them to have a lot of damage. So here this is. And then there is a separate head if you just want to go normal with his head. But I would keep the brain one on, at least for me, because he pretty much had his brains like that throughout most of the comics. So, And then he does have some slight damage to his suit. And then we do have a shield right here, which is not damage, and that is only because... I like looked through the comic. It really was not that damaged. It really wasn't damaged at all. So I didn't really want to give it inaccurate damage. So that's why it's just how it normally is. And then it, do, it would come with uh, Zombie Giant Man's arm. So here's a better image of him. And then here is an image of him with his head fully intact. So this might be my favorite figure of the wave. And I'm sure if you're a Spider-Man fan, this is probably your favorite too. And yeah, it is a zombie Spider-Man. Uh, as you can see, he does have his mask. I mean, it's pretty damaged, just like how it was in the comic. I did not add a separate Peter Parker head because he pretty much went on a whole tangent in the comic about how, like, the reason he doesn't take off his mask. So I'm not really going to get into that here. But, you know, if you want to know, read the comic. And then, yeah, as you can see, his leg is pretty damaged because in the first Marvel Zombies, it got blown off, like, the bits I mean, he, he tore it off later, but yeah, he pretty much has no leg here. It's like barely intact, staying on, so that's kind of how it was. And then he does have a web effect, and then his little web shooter hands effect down there, and he does come with a giant man leg. So here's a better image of him with his leg. I think it looks pretty cool. Like I said, he did tear it off, so I was thinking about like kind of including some no leg part of this, but I don't know. I mean, you really wouldn't be able to do much of them if he didn't have a leg at all, unless I, like, included a stand in here. But I still think this looks pretty good. So next up, we have the Wasp, which is probably my least favorite figure out of this wave. Like, I couldn't really think of too much details for her. Like, I mean, I know, like, in the comics earlier on, she gets, like, her head blown off, and then towards the end, she gets attached to, like, some robot body, but... I don't know. I, I didn't really want that for this. So she just has her little wasp suit and then just a wasp zombie head. And you could just fit like a regular Janet Van Dyne head on there and she would be a cool wasp. And she does have little stinger effects in the box, which is just like Iron Man's blaster effects. And she does come with a giant man head. And that's pretty much all I have to say for this figure. I, I would still get it because she looks freaking badass. And then next up, we have Wounded Black Panther. And yeah, if you know in the comics, Giant Man did feed off of him. He ate his arm, leg, and I'm sure some other parts of him. So let, let's just get this out of the way. I know this face is like terrible. It's not, it's not a good face, 
I'm not good at faces because I tried to make it match the his like shirtless body and I really couldn't do that so yeah it kind of sucks but you know if there was like an actual wave of this it, it wouldn't be that bad so yeah I did base this off the Walgreens exclusive Black Panther and I think it looks pretty good other than the face the thing about this figure is though he's missing a leg and an arm so I think I probably should have added a stand in this but so I don't know how much balance you're really going to have with him. And he does have this little stick thing that he was walking around with in the comic. So I think that was pretty cool. But yeah, um, I think this is still, if you have like a good way to stand him up, I think this would be a cool figure to have because, you know, injured Black Panther was pretty badass in the comics. So, and he would come with giant man's leg because why not? And then, yeah, here's a better image of him. I'd imagine there'd be, like, a peg or something so the stick can, like, attach to his arm or back. And as you can see, he is missing his leg over here and just kind of bloody bandages everywhere. And I think it looks pretty cool. Personally, I would get him. But I could see why others wouldn't, so. And last up, we have Marvel Zombies Wolverine, who I think looks pretty cool. As you can see, he does come with a separate arm, and this arm that he has on right now is part of, like, his adamantium skeleton because the skin did get blown off uh, during the fight where, like, all the heroes fought Silver Surf Surfer, so there that is. And then he would come with Giant Man's other arm, and he does have a separate arm just in case you want his arm to be intact, and he would come with some clawless effects right there, and I think it looks pretty good. So, yeah. Here's a better image of him. And then here is the build a figure of Giant Man. And obviously, if this was a wave, they would not use the Toy Biz mold. If they did, that would be absolutely insane because they could do a lot better now. But just wanted to use this guy as a base. And Giant Man was like a huge part of the comic, which is why I didn't do like a Hulk, a zombie Hulk build a figure for this. Um, I, f I figured Giant Man would just be more relevant, but I should just make, like, some random separate Hulk Marvel zombie thing. But I think he looks pretty cool. I would totally get this wave if it was sold. Now, do I think it would be sold? Like, do I even think it would be made? No, I do not. I don't think this comic is, like, totally popular enough for that to happen. I don't see much people buying a bunch of, like, these zombie figures. Like, maybe if, I guess, parts of them were, like, in different waves, like... If Zombie Wolverine was in a wave with, like, a ton of normal X-Men figures, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I mean, they made, like, they made like an Age of Apocalypse wave, so maybe it would sell. Maybe they would make it, but I'm not really sure. I don't think it'd be anything, like, too soon in the future, so I don't know. I don't know how well it would sell. Personally, I would buy it. I would be all over this wave because I love the Marvel Zombies comic. It's, like, it might be my favorite, like, Marvel storyline I've ever read it it's just that good and if you haven't re read it yet please do that do yourself a favor and do that so i'm pretty happy with this wave though i don't think there's too many issues with it and yeah that's pretty much it tell me any suggestions you have in the comments anything i should add anything i shouldn't have added and yeah i'll gladly read and acknowledge them below as long as you're not like rude about it so thank you all for watching I do want to do more of these concept wave videos, so if you have any suggestions, maybe you could throw them my way, and I'll gladly think about them. So with all that said, Obo525, out. The